Okay, now I'm already recording. Dahlia is already here. Okay, guys, can you see me properly and hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I have given you a homework last meeting, right? About the listening. Have you done it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what we need to do is only answer them and directly we will continue with your workbook, okay? Okay. okay. So let's start with number one. We are on page 48 of your workbook, okay? For those who just came in. So page 48 of your workbook. Maybe I will let you see the, the book. Let me share my screen. Wait a moment. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So here. Yes. Okay, so this is the homework that I gave to you last meeting. So in number one, so we don't need to repeat the audio already because I suppose you have um, played them for many times or twice. So I need to call your names again if you are here so that I will know who to call or not, okay? So is Javier here? Um, yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Is Ivan here? Yes, okay, thank you. Paula? Is Paula here? Yes. Okay, thank you. How about Marta? Yes. Okay, thank you. Patricia? Okay, thank you. Natalia? Yes. Okay. Ana Reja? Okay, thank you, Ana. Rodrigo? Yes. Okay, and also your brother Alvaro, right? Also. Okay, thank you. And Ana Huerta? Yes. And Miguel? Is Miguel here? So I suppose Miguel is not here yet. Okay, so anyone who is not called? Okay, so I suppose everyone is called. Okay, so let's start. Can you tell me your answer for number one, Javier, please? I'm um, sorry. Uh, I am opening all the books. I have technical problems. And I am, uh, I'm not following the exercise. I'm sorry, but... I have problems with the comments. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. Okay, so I will call Ivan. Yes, the first word is flexible. Okay, the first word is flexible. Okay, I know a Martin. Sorry, I think I haven't called you. I know a Martin. By the way, are you my students before? Well, your name is just familiar. But I don't know because I cannot see you. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I remember your name. Okay, so let's continue. So, Ivan said the answer is flexible, right? Yes. Okay, so that is the correct answer, flexible. Okay, volunteers were required to be flexible due to the number of different jobs that need doing. Perfect. Let's go to number two. Can I hear from Paula? B. Anna particularly, particularly appreciated being able to be out of doors. Okay, B is not the correct answer here. It is something that Anna did during the camping, during her excursion in Africa. 
Do you have other answers, Marta? Uh, yes, I think it's uh, baked bread. Perfect. It should be baked bread because she said that it is um, better than baking them in oven. So they did it out of doors, outdoors. Okay, so the answer for number two is baked bread. Let's go to number three. Can I hear from Patricia, please? Car tire. Car tire. So I will accept here tire or car tire, okay? So Anna mentions car tire or tire to explain the way a chica's feet function. Okay, so let's go to number four. Can you tell me your answer, Natalia? A di direction. Number four. Ah, sorry, a collar. Collar, perfect. Anna's work involved using a new kind of collar which scientists have developed to track the cheetahs. Perfect. Collar, C-O-L-L-A-R. All right, let's go to number five. Anna Mer Mer Sorry, Mary, is you yeah. roll, is you write special collar, is right? Is it right? Uh, Anna's work involved using a new kind of special collar. It's also right because you are so just sorry. describing what kind of collar and it is also in the audio. Special collar or collar. Thank okay, you thank that. you. Okay, let's go to number five, Anna Reja. Movements. Okay, Anna collected detailed information about the cheetah's movements position and speed okay i this is not the correct answer there is one word that she mentioned rather than movements okay so do you have different answer rodrigo i think it's direction it is direction, perfect. The answer is direction. Anna collected detailed information about the chica's direction, position, and speed. Okay, let's go to number six. Alvaro, can you tell me your answer, please? Turn. Turn, okay. So there is one word that is missing turn in what way can you remember okay so i suppose can you remember it or not because the word turn needs to have another word in the audio because the person describe how he turned it could be turned back way sideways front ways there is one word that she mentioned can you remember it the second one the second one turn sideways yeah that's the correct answer turn sideways anna found out that the speed of a cheetah is less important than the way it can turn sideways suddenly Okay, let's go to number seven. Ana Huerta, please. Night. Night. Okay, Ana's results showed that night was the most popular time of day for hunting. Okay, night, they thought it will be night, but surprisingly, it was dawn. Okay, can you copy me? The dawn is the answer. D A W N. Okay, do you have some questions? Okay, let's continue with number eight. I I know a Martin. Can you answer the last one? Okay, deep deep ve vegetation. You mean? Okay, the answer is thick vegetation, okay? It's not deep vegetation, thick vegetation. Okay, thick, T-H-I-C-K. 
okay vegetation all right so this one is over eight and you need to get at least five points if you want to be if you want to pass this part two of listening okay so any question for this homework before we go to your to your student's book okay i suppose none so let's go back to your book i think we are on page um wait a moment we are on this page the second speaking part two page 103 so here we are going to recall how we do the speaking part two i want paula to tell me how we did the speaking part two last Monday, please. Uh, we were describing the pictures uh, and the person who was describing the picture has to answer the two questions that uh, they have in the top of the okay. message. And after that, um, the, the partner has to answer in, well, this um, descriptions for these descriptions you have uh, one minute uh, and after that your partner has to answer another question uh, in 13 seconds um, 30 seconds mm -hmm. yes that's and correct so what we need to do is to choose only two pictures between the three pictures given to you and then you need to compare two pictures mm -hmm. quickly around 20 seconds and then you need to answer the two questions above directly. So all mm -hmm. in all, you have one minute to do that. And as you said, your pair needs to answer an additional question, which is you can answer that for 30 seconds only. And the question is something related to the pictures that your pair um, described previously. Okay, so thank yep. you. So let's go in this part. Activity number six. So these are words that we can use to describe these six photos. So as you can see, there are six photos. And these are the words that are appropriate to be used in our speaking part two. So as you can see, these words here, do you have some problems with the vocabulary? I'll give you some time to look at it and tell me if you have some questions about the vocabulary. Okay. So, no questions? Is it clear, I know I'm a team? Okay, how about... Okay, okay, this one. Flow of field is to... When, for example, um... You want to plant a tree, you use a shovel or something to dig the soil and then you put the seed afterwards. Okay, Rodrigo, okay, okay I thank happy you. that. Okay, you understand what is it again? I already that is that is like this picture. It's when you are getting the soil to put some seeds or some plants. That is flower field, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, so more questions? Okay, so I see maybe it, everything is clear already. So what we are going to do right now is to um, match these words with the pictures below. 
for you to think if this word is an appropriate word to be used in each of the photos. Okay, so I'll give you some minutes to do that. And please tell me if you have finished in the chat box. Okay, Ivan is already finished. Okay, Patricia has already finished too, and Ana Huerta. Rodrigo as well. Okay, Natalia as well. Is Miguel already here? Okay, so let's start. Paula, have you finished? And Marta and Patricia? Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, so perfect. Okay, perfect. So let's start with this word. Okay, so what do you think, which picture do you think we can use the word back-breaking word? Can you tell me your answer, Ana Huerta? Uh, I think that it can be possible one, three, and six. One, three, and six. Okay, one, why do you think one? Uh, because uh, they are working in a very special condition in deep 
uh, in the water and it can be very it can be a back breaking work in my opinion okay maybe it depends on the work if what they're doing here for example this picture it looks like a back breaking work okay so mm. that's correct and also you told me number three yes i think that it is a mine so mm -hmm. so miners uh, had to work long hours in underground and they they had to um uh, i don't know how to say okay they have they have to work um very hard underground with all of the things that they need to discover and they need to dig out hmm. okay and you said number six. Uh, yes, because I think that they are exposed to the the sun and the cold in winter, and also it's a, a handmade work. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's very backbreaking. Okay, I okay, I think so too because it's like a whole day kind of work with the animal and of of course your hands and all of your body. All right, thank you, Anna. Let's go to the next word become disoriented can you tell me your answer alvaro if you have the microphone are you here alvaro or you can just tell me and type the answer through chat box just tell me the number for the word become disoriented. Okay, so which pictures can we use the word become disoriented from the sixth of them? Okay, copy that. You can just type the number. Okay, one and three. Okay, we can see one become disoriented. Okay, maybe for the woods or the creatures that they are getting or they are discovering. And you said three. Okay, it depends on how you're going to use, but it is also possible. All right, let's go to the next one. The word combat the cold. Can you give me your answer, Ana Reja? Number one and number two, maybe? Number one and number two. So combat the cold. Number two? Yes, it could be if maybe this is winter or that kind of thing because it's an outdoor um work okay it's fine let's go to deep in the woods can you tell me your answer natalia please i think it's number two okay number two okay that's completely the correct answer number two deep in the woods how about deep sea diver uh, Marta. Uh, I think it's number one. Okay, obviously number one. How about deep underground, Natalia? No, the, I mean Patricia. Picture number three. Picture number three, perfect. Deep underground. Handed down from father to son. What's your answer, Paula? I put a uh, three. Four, five, and six. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. But how are you going to do this like as handed by from father to son? Sorry? How can you explain or use the word uh, with this picture? Because you said three. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I would say that... Uh, the work of, of minery is um, very traditional and maybe uh, from father to sons they can learn how to do it and uh, get the 
passion for the work. Okay, but I think they are more like um, you can do this one with your a course, like a finished course or something like that. I'm not very keen in this in this um, topic with the mining, but maybe you are right. Okay, no, I don't know, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Okay, well, well, it doesn't matter. It could be. Maybe others are, the, it's right for them and the others not. Okay, let's go to the next one. How about um, hard physical labor? Can you tell me your answer, Ivan? Uh, for me, it's number three and number six. Number three and number six. Okay, that's correct. So how can you answer, how can you use the word in, in this picture? English, number six. Mm -hmm. Because I think uh, working outdoors with animals or to pluck a field is a hard work for farmers. So the weather, the round, sometimes it's very difficult to get something in that uh, environment. So mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a physical, hard physical labor. Mm -hmm. I see. All right, thank you. Let's We're go going. to the next one. The heat and noise. Can you tell me your answer, Javier? Um, yeah, uh, heat and noise, I would say number, number three and uh, number four, perhaps, I think. Okay, how are you going to, to use that word in number four? Um, I think in number four, heat and noise are due to uh, principal, the, the heat and the on the kitchen, uh, the heat of the ovens or fires and and things for cooking and noise because of the quantity of people uh, that is necessary to serve the food uh, to a crowd of people in a big restaurant or something like that. Mm -hmm. I see. I see your point. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the next one. Lack of oxygen. Can you tell me your answer, I know? One. Okay, so obviously number one and the rest of them, they have the natural oxygen in, in their jobs. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. Lose your way. What's your answer, Ana Wepa? I think that is number six. Number six. Okay, why do you think so, number six? Uh, because he's a man who is working in a, in a land. In a land? In, I think that he's working in the field. Or in the farm. In a farm. Mm hmm so how is go how is he going to lose his way? Sorry, I can't hear you. How is he going to lose his way? I sorry, I think that we were in the other uh, in other nine in other letter. Lose your way. I think that yes. is one, two, and three. Okay, one, two, okay. and three. <laughs> okay, I see. How are you going to put lose your way in this picture? Uh, I think the she's in a wood, so I think, in my opinion, you can be lost if you don't know the, exactly the place where you are working. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe you forgot the, okay, the, the way where you entered would be not, would not, would not be the same way that you're going to use when you want to go out from the wood. Yeah. Okay. All right. How about the next one? Can you tell me your answer? Rodrigo, please. You can just type your answer. Uh, 
three and five. Okay. Three. Okay, of course, because you cannot mind if you don't plow a field. And five, but with number five. Are you sure with number five? A ver, necesito respirar. I think it should be better for number six. Number six and number ¿Cuál es esa canción, mi amor? Okay, let's go to the next one. Skilled craftsmanship. Can you tell me your answer, Ana Reja? Number five, perfectly. That should be number five. As you can see, this is the only one who got the creativeness. Well, others may have other kind of creativeness, but this one seems the perfect picture for that word. Okay, next one. Take pride in your work. Can you tell me your answer, Natalia? Mm, I think all of them should take pride in their work. Okay. But... Especially, I would say, number three, because it's the most dangerous, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I agree with you that all of the jobs, we can take pride of our work because they have the result afterwards. So if you think that it's better with number three, it depends on you and how you are going to use it. Okay, so that's it. And next one, take strict safety precautions. What is your answer, Patricia? Uh, one and three. One and three. Okay. So what are the precautions that they need to do here? Well, when the, when you are, for example, a diver, uh, well, uh, before uh, uh, being a diver, you have to receive a, a training because mm -hmm. it's difficult to dive. Um, and uh, in the case of number three, or oh, maybe there is not a training, it's a... Um, because maybe it's the kind of uh, work that you have in inherited from your father or something like that. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, both of them are really dangerous. So you have to, to take some uh, safety precautions. Okay. okay. Thank you, Patricia. Let's go to the last one. Underwater archaeology. What's your answer, Marta? Uh, number one. Number one, okay, underwater archaeology. So can you tell me what is an archaeologist? Uh, yes, it's a person who who finds some ancient um, buildings or objects um, that could be underwater or underground. And in this case, I think it's underwater. underwater. Okay, so... Perfect. It's like a scientific study of material remains of past human life or any other activities. Okay. Yes. So thank you. So last meeting, I called at least four people to do the speaking part too. So now I will call those people who haven't um who haven't done this exercise yet. Okay. So if we have time, I will call again those people who I have called last time if there is someone who doesn't have any pair okay so in the first set the set a i will call um paula as well as i know martin to do the set a okay so i will first ask um paula to do it so you have one minute to answer two questions and to compare the two photos that you are going to choose okay so you have one two three pictures and you only need to describe and answer the questions for the two pictures that you preferred to do so before we start paula do you have some questions mm, no no, question. no okay so are you ready <laughs> yes i think so okay so in one minute you can start now Okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, picture one and picture two. In the first picture, we can see a submarine. Uh, and I think in this profession, you, um, well, uh, for this profession, you have to be very um, adventure 
and um, I think that this man um, likes to discover new things. Uh, in the second picture, uh, I think that um, you have to be a, a, a very, uh, I don't know, like you might like uh, be surrounded uh, from nature, oh, well, uh, of nature, and very um, you you would like to, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, well, um, maybe I think that the dangers that you uh, can find in this work is that uh, in the first picture you have to be very um, careful with the lack of Thank oxygen. You. Okay, don't worry. Can I ask Patricia's opinion about her performance, please? Sorry, but I I, I couldn't hear uh, all the uh, all his all his speech on the beginning. I don't know why. I only heard the beginning and uh, and the end, not the middle. So they can uh, they can do it uh, in uh, in general because I I only hear part of the uh, of the speech. Sorry. Okay, no problem. I will call other okay. people. Okay. Can you tell me your opinion, Javier? Um, I think uh, he uh, she hasn't do it the wrong way uh, at all. But uh, perhaps her problem is the same problem we we all have, uh, which is the the con the control of time and and the fear we feel when when we speak. Uh, we forget about words about expression. And it's not easy to find the the exit, but I think uh, she do it better than me, probably. <laughs> um, and I think her problem is not about the vocabulary or anything. It's mm -hmm. the fear about time that we all have. Mm -hmm. I see your point. Okay. So the same, I have the same um, opinion with Javier. So your vocabulary is fine. The structure of your words are fine. The problem is that maybe you put more information in the things that you think you know more than the other picture, the picture number two. So there is like um, an equal time that you have given each of the photos. So I think you need to manage um, that, that part. And also sometimes you have some words that Maybe you think it is a noun or maybe you think it is an adjective, but you use the word in a wrong way. For example, you need to be an adventure person. It should be you need to be an adventurous person, okay? Because adventure is a noun and adventurous is the adjective. Do you understand me? Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. All right. So for Ainoa. This is my question for you. So you don't need to do the first part first. I will ask you a question that is something general and you need to answer this for 30 seconds. And if you answer, you need to um, relate that to the two pictures that Paula um, selected. Okay, so this is so, your question. Can you repeat the, the last thing you said? Okay, that... For example, if you are going to answer the question, you need to answer them according to Paula's selected photos, okay? Okay. So, for example, if I say which of these activities, so these activities that I am referring are the two pictures that Paula selected, which are the number one and number two. Yes. Okay, so this is your question. Which of these activities you think would be the most satisfying and why you have 30 seconds to answer you can start now from my point of view the most satisfying activity would be the number two because i think that kind of work is a vocational work so uh, it means that you do it because you want and not because they make you do it like it's not uh a hard work to do. So this woman could be even doing it uh, for fun because uh, she has it like a traditional, a traditional uh, 
manner or thank you okay so that's it just be direct and you've done it well okay thank you now my um i know uh, you need to do the same task like how paula did the first part okay so before we start do you have some questions uh, no okay so in one minute you can start now I'm going to talk about the uh, future and I move to uh, number three. Well, from my point of view, this um, the reason why these people is doing this job could be a traditional reason, because I think there are jobs like very vocational. Um, they maybe do it because it comes from the some members from their family. In number two, the woman uh, uh, could be used to see it from her, her, her childhood. And uh, in number three, uh, m uh, m working in a mine in a mine is not so demanded anymore. So if they do it because they know someone, um, of course, both are danger dangerous uh, in different levels. The danger in number two could be that she could pick up a poison mushroom, and in number three, of course, is that they they work with a heavy machinery um, of the, they have to be so so careful with thank you okay that's great can you give me your opinion Ana Huerta? Um, I, I think that uh, her speak is very well uh, I think that she completed the two questions and I think that the vocabulary that she have used is correct and related with the other activity. And I think that that it is a good exercise. Okay, so thank you. I agree that I know what did it very well with the fluency, only that I think you forgot to give similarities first because you directly answered the first question. Maybe with your questions, you have there the similarities and differences of the pictures, only that First, you need to give the similarities of the pictures before you start to answer the, the question, okay? And the similarities is only like just one sentence just to start the conversation, all right? And that thing. And also with the word poison mushroom, can you tell me what is the adjective of poison? Poisonous? Perfect. Poisonous mushroom, okay? So that thing, the same with Paula too, okay? So only that minor grammatical lexis. Let's go to Paula. My question for you would be, which of the activities would you be willing to experience and why? You can start now. I I would like to experience the picture number two because I like to be surrounded from nature and it's something that I have done before with my parents in my childhood and I really like it because uh, if you pick some uh, food stuff from the, from the nature uh, and you know how to cook it, then you can, you can eat it and it's really nice and I think that it's a very nice experience to make uh, alone or with company or with family. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Only that I need to comment about the preposition you used after the word surrounded. So you need to use surrounded by nature. Okay? Only okay. that, but you have um, answered the question very well. Okay, so thank you, ladies. Now I want to call... Um, I don't know if Ana Reha has the microphone. Can you tell me and can you, um, Ana Reha, do you have the microphone? Yes, okay, perfect. So Ana Reha and Marta. Yes. Okay, so this would be your picture, the second one, okay? Can you see it properly? Okay, the set B. So I want uh, Marta to go first. 
before I start timing you, do you have some questions about the instructions? Um, okay. So it's fine, right? Set yes, it's fine. Okay, so in one minute, Marta, you can start now. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to choose uh, the number four and number six. Uh, I think that both both activities uh, are related with uh, moving uh, your body. Um, it's a physical job, but the first one, the number four, is uh, is being done indoor, and the number six is uh, outdoor. So uh, maybe they are doing these activities because um, they have um, handed down these uh, jobs from their parents or from uh, another familiar. Uh, and both could be difficult in uh, each one in its way. Uh, the first one because of the fires of cooking and um, being careful with the ingredients and the, the allergies. And number six, it could be difficult because of uh, working in the um, in the um, well in in the ground uh, it Thank could you. be hard okay i want to hear the opinion of rodrigo if you have the microphone is your microphone working right now or no Sorry, but no. So it's the same with Alvaro then. So that means that you can do the speaking part too. Okay, I suppose you cannot do the speaking part too. So I will ask the opinion. C sharp mobile phone. That is sharp. C sharp. We share. Okay. So we share mobile phone. All right. So I will ask the opinion of Natalia. Mm, I think that her speaking has been very um, quite good. Uh, she has respected the times and she has uh, said a lot of vocabulary. So I think that it's quite good. Maybe finish the last phrase, but um, the rest is perfect, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will give you the chance, um, Marta. Can you tell me what is the last sentence that you want to say, number six? Uh, yes, I think I wanted to say that... Um, the difficulty of the last uh, picture was... Uh, that it was hard to work uh, in the ground uh, because it's a physical uh, job and it's outdoor and I, I don't know really what I wanted to say. I thought it was like something like that. Okay, maybe that it was a say, physical job. Okay, okay, that it's a physical job and it's difficult to work under the heat of the sun. Maybe yes. you want to say like that. Okay, thank you. So now it's the turn of Anna. So my question for you, Anna, before you start doing the first part, is which of these activities do you think requires the most skill and why? Which of these activities do you think requires the most skill and why? You have 30 seconds. You can start now. I think that you need to have uh, more skills, uh, maybe in the picture number six because um here you need to um to know how to uh, work in on the ground and to uh control an animal to do the work so for me it's uh, more difficult than to uh work by yourself okay thank you all right it's your turn to do the first part of the speaking part too so before I start, do you have some questions? No, everything is clear. Okay, so in one minute, you can start now. I'm going to talk about uh, picture number four and number five. And both pictures shows um, uh, people that are working 
indoors and that seems to be very focused on the things that they are doing and I think that they are working the same way that their uh, fathers or ancestors work so because of uh, that they are doing the same ways and um, but the difficulty here is to um, have the capability and abilities or skills to uh, make their work because uh, for example in number uh, five uh, you need to be a creative person so um, this is this isn't this is not something that you um, can share from the family and you have to have it by your own and also the um, to have practice and to work on Thank you. Uh, how do you do. <laughs> okay, can I ask the opinion of Ainoa, please? Are you here, Ainoa? Okay, I will ask the opinion. Okay, no problem. I will ask the opinion of Paula. Okay, uh, I think that she completed both of the questions and she used some of the um, words uh, that we uh, saw before and for me it was quite good. Okay, I think for um, Anna, you haven't finished your task, right? Am I right? Why? I mean, because I thought that you want to add more information. No, I only ne uh, need to finish the last sentences. That the last sentence that it was with a do, I think, or something like that. It was only a word that I want to say. Okay, with a picture number five. Okay, I see. I thought you need you want to give more information because I will give you some chance to do it. Okay. Anyway, if that's it. Now I will go to Marta to give you the second question. Okay. Okay. Marta, which of the activities would you be willing to experience? Why? Um, I will really like to experience uh, number five uh, because it's something that I have always wanted to do and I have never had the opportunity. Uh, I like painting and drawing and doing all uh, craft uh, things. So I think it's a good activity for me to do and for everyone to to be relaxed and have fun for for a moment. And you have to be concentrated, but um, also it can relax and and give you a good moment. Uh, you can do it uh, by yourself or, or you. with somebody. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, so next one. I would like to call Ana Huerta and Ivan. Okay, so this one for you guys, I want to have a different picture. Okay, so this would be your picture. Mm, where is it? Um, okay, this one. So the questions are, what might each TV series be about and what might the characters be like? Okay, I repeat, what might each TV series be about? What might the characters be like? Okay, I know that this is kind of impromptu, but I just want to see to have different um, variables in the pictures that I am giving to you. So I want Ana Huerta to go first. Do you mind? Okay. Okay. So before I start, do you have some questions? Mm, no, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's try. So in one minute, Ana, you can start now. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, picture 1A and 1C. Uh, 
Uh, I th uh, in the first one, we can see a girl or a woman that uh, is arrested. And in the second one is a battle. So both pictures is outdoor and, and there is a part of a TV series. And I think that the first one, it can be about the history of this character. Um, maybe uh, she has been arrested uh, because he had done something illegal. And in the second one, uh, it can be a, a battle uh, or a, it can, they can be Vikings, for example. Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what might be the character be like uh, in the first one? Thank uh, you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem, Anna. I know because this is like you don't have the vocabularies and all of that things. No problem. Okay, can I ask the opinion of Patricio? Well, I think that uh, she did it quite well. Uh, if you take into account that uh, these images or pictures are uh, really difficult to explain, maybe. Mm -hmm. because and uh, because uh, yeah, she, uh, she hadn't enough time uh, the, to see then that the, the previous that we have in the book that mm -hmm. was maybe a, a bit easier. That's okay. my opinion, maybe. All right. So what, why I did this one is because um, this is really the reality of your exam, guys, that you don't have any time to prepare or something like that. So um, time by time, I will try to do it like this, that someone can have the impromptu and others can't, so that you can see the difference. And in that way, uh, the range between your preparation and your impromptuness can can be, um, can be um, you are going to improve that because you know that there will be difference between preparation and impromptu. So don't worry, not all of you can do this right now, but um, time by time, I will do it with others. Okay, so I think for Anna, even though that um, this is an impromptu, I think you also um, did something from the tasks that are asking from you. So I think the first question is quite um, understood and also understandable. I mean, under understandable. And also, you have given your answers quite well. Only that maybe you don't have enough time to answer question number two. Okay, so, but don't worry. And also, please be careful with your subject and verb agreement when you say she has done and both pictures is, because you said is, and it should be are, okay? I know that. It's just like grammatical errors, slight grammatical errors. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And Ivan, your question would be, which of these series would be no. Which of these series will you be interested to watch? Why? You can start. Uh, yes. Uh, I think I, the most interesting um, series for me is picture number one, A, picture number A, because I love uh, stories about mothers, and I think this picture is about a mother, a woman, who tried to escape the, from the police and he murdered some guys, some man, maybe he, her uh, husband. So I think this uh, kind of uh, Thank story. You. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. In, in, the, in the speaking, actually, it doesn't matter if. I already said thank you and you haven't finished, but if you feel that you already touch or attack what what the task wants you to do, then it's completely fine, okay? Because you already said your opinion and you already um, give point why you want or why you prefer this kind of series, okay? So don't worry. Okay, thank All you. Right? So now it's your turn, Ivan, the same. So do you have some questions before I start? No. Okay, so in one minute, you can start now. Okay, I think I'm going to choose a picture uh, 1C and 1B. In picture uh, 1C, 
we can uh, watch uh, 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 how say uh, some character maybe it's from Game of Thrones. They are going to uh, uh, the battle, and in picture number B, you can see uh, robots. Maybe they are aliens that want to in, invade the the earth. So I think is these two pictures uh, are <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in picture number C, uh, the principal, the main character is a novel. Uh, Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Right. No problem. I know. Can you tell me your opinion? Um, I think he did it well. Um, he knew some of the series, so that's a. Uh, uh, advantage for him, so I cannot hear you. Hello, no, right now, yes. Sorry, can you repeat what you have said? Um, okay, um, I think he did it well, he knew some of the series, so that's an advantage for him. So, I think it's okay. I don't know. Okay, so I know he, he knows this one because um, because of this person, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, you are right. This is Game of Thrones, and you are right that this is these are also robots. And what you need to do maybe is to answer the question number two as well, just like Anna. And for the TV series, I mean, the description of your TV series, it is also an advantage that you know it and you know what this series all are, uh, what this series are all about. So I think that's a good point. Only that I think you are already confused what to say in, in number two. What might be the characters be like? Okay. If you are given the chance to do uh, um, question number two, how are you going to answer it, Ivan? Without time. Question number two. Yeah. I think the uh, number two are they are robots. They are robots and maybe controlled by humans uh, or maybe controlled by other kind of beings. I don't know. And in picture number C, they are people from middle age and they want to conquer other lands, other worlds, Territory. other territories, other territories. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got it. It's just that you are very, you are being rattled of the time. Okay. All right. So thank you, Ivan. This is your question, Anna. So the same with Ivan, which do you think from these pictures will interest you the most? Uh, I think that uh, it will be interested me the most, the, the series 1C. Uh, you say that the uh, Game of Thrones, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will watch it because everybody talked very well of this TV series. And I think that uh, it represents different troops, troops, and there are many fights, and I think that it can be interesting. Okay, so thank you. All right, yeah, this is Game of Thrones, and I also recommend you to watch it. <laughs> you know, I watched it just um, last summer, but, well, I think it's, ve it's very interesting. Each episode is very interesting for me. It's something that <laughs> you don't expect that will happen. But well, okay. yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that's it, guys. So I want to give some vocabulary here. You can describe this person who is handcuffed. This picture is, we, we call them handcuffed, okay? H-A-N-D-C-U-F-F, -F, just for some information. And with their suit or your uniform, 
with the picture C and picture B, you can call them armor, okay? Because they are protected with something. So you call them armor. And of course, you know the animal and all the things. All right, so maybe for um, each TV series, you can say that here, it might be about justice or a story of a person's lives, the difficulties she encountered. And for B, it can be like, innovation or technological um, world, something like that. And for C, it could be all about power and that things. It can also be about justice as well. Okay, so that's it. Now we will go to your book. We will continue your activities, okay? And I'm sorry for the two brothers, Rodrigo and Alvaro if you cannot do it and i don't know what to do for your speaking but well i know you can speak well it's just that it's a uh, bad luck today okay so if you have some questions after the class you can directly message me pri privately okay let's go to the next page of your book which is page 104. okay reading and use of english part four so i don't know if you all, I think you already know what to do here because you're already in chapter nine. Just in case, I want to ask Paula, how do we do reading and use of English part four? Uh, well, in the first exercise, we have to paraphrase um, using the word that they give you um, in what well, that they give you. Okay, so we need to use the word that is in a bold one. For example, time and all of that words. So can I ask you again, how many words do we need to use or write in each of the number? We have, well, we can use between three and six uh, words. Perfect. And can we change the given word? No, no, that's... Um... You can't touch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's something that we should not do, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, so guys, what we are going to do now is to answer first activity number one, okay? So you know the rules. We need to correct the mistakes here. So here you have already an answer, but the problem is there are some mistakes that we need to remove maybe or we need to alter so that it will be accepted. So number one, you will get home from work to find I have cooked supper. And the given word is time. I will have supper cooked by the time you will get home from work. So I will give you a hint. The problem here is that the, uh, the word that they use, the tense rather, is not correct. So if you have some idea, can you put them in your chat box, please? So you can answer through your chat box right now. Oh. If you have some idea on what is the correct No, no, sí, yo he pensado one. aprovechar este tiempo para decirte que te quiero mucho y que te echo de menos. Do you have some questions? By the time you get, will is not necessary. Okay, perfect. Will is not necessary here because you already use will in the first phrase. I will have supper cooked by the time you get home from work. Okay, so that is the correct answer. By the time you get home from work. Okay, so for example, I will have a house by the time I... By the time I am 30 years old, maybe. So something like that. So you cannot use the future will in the same in the same um, sentence or phrases. Okay? So let's go to number two. So I am driving faster than ever before. And the given word is as. It's the first time I drive so fast as this. 
So if you have some answer and if you know the answer, you can type in our chat box. Okay, Natalia said, have driven as fast. I am driving as fast. Okay, the correct answer here is I have driven as fast as this. Okay, why? Because um, before you haven't driven as fast as you are driving right now. So it's the first time. So we need to use the present perfect because it's something like just happened recently. Okay, so for example, I haven't been in Spain for the rest of my life. So maybe this is the first day that I have been in Spain because this is my first time. Okay, so that is why we need to use the present perfect. So I have driven as fast as this. Let's go to number three. They tested the car on a race track when they had solved the problem. The given word is tried. With solving the problem, they tried the car on a race track. So you can send your answers if you have some idea. Okay, Patricia said, with the problem solved, they tried the car on a race track. Let's wait for Ivan and Marta. With the problem solved, they tried the car on a race track. The same. Okay, the problem solved, they tried. All right, that's the correct answer, guys. With the problem solved, perfect, because we need to use the after the with, and then, of course, the status of something. With the problem solved, um, they tried the car on a racetrack. That's correct. Okay. So um, I have only a question. Sorry. Okay. Sure. Uh, in this kind of phrases, um, it, do you have to put always uh, the word with, or it is correct to if you say the problem solved, they tried, blah, blah, blah? No, you cannot put the word problem solved only. You need to use the word with because you want to say that with this condition, with uh, this situation, and then the next phrase should be the consequence of the situation. So if you only say the problem solved, we don't know what to do with the problem solved, okay? So that is okay. why you need the word with to specify that after this occasion or situation happened, something afterwards happened as well as a result of the with that you have mentioned in the first clause or phrase, okay? Okay, I have me? because, uh, you know, in, in Spanish if possible, uh, we can say, resuelto el problema, probaron, and I didn't know mm -hmm. if English uh, permit that or it's not it's not correct saying that okay thank you you're welcome with that one it's very informal to do that one and i haven't heard something like that it's like um a shortcut but it is not accepted in a in the grammar okay all right okay. so, all right so let's go to activity number two so i'll give you time to do activity number two and answer numbers one to six. If you have some questions with the vocabulary or some confusions, please raise your questions or just open your microphone or type it in the chat box. I'll give you some minutes to answer them and just tell me if you have finished.
Okay, Javier is already done. And Natalia as well. Patricia too. Okay, Ivan as well. Okay, I know uh, as well. Okay, let's start because uh, most of you have already finished and we don't have enough time already. So let's go to number one. Can you tell me your answer, I know what, please? There is no point in taking. Perfect. So there are three types of answers here. You can say there is no point in getting or there is no point in taking. I mean only two. In getting or in taking. Okay. I repeat there is no point in getting or there is no point in taking. Okay. And however, there is also possible answer that you can directly omit the word in. Okay, there is no point getting a taxi to the to the station, or there is no point taking a taxi to the to the station. So it doesn't matter. They are just the same. And if you put the in or you don't put the in. So before I go to activity number two, is there any questions that you want to ask? Okay, so I see that there is none. So let's go to number two. Can I hear your answer, Javier? Um, yes, I think it, it is. Uh, Carl went ahead with the project without consulting anyone. Perfect. That's the correct answer. Carl went ahead with the project without consulting anyone. Okay, so thank you. Is there any questions before I go to activity number three? Mary, okay. can I say Carl went ahead with the project alone without consulting anyone? Okay. When you put alone, it's already redundant, okay? Because when you say Carl went ahead with the project, it means that it is only Carl who is doing the project. Because with the word ahead with the project and you only mention Carl, that means that he is the only one who is doing it, okay? So if you put again alone, it is already redundant. Okay, thank, okay. thank you. You're welcome. So let's go to number three. Can you tell me your answer, Marta? Uh, yes, but I'm not sure. Um, ice on the road is blame, blamed for causing the accident. Is blamed for causing the accident. Okay. I, I don't know. I didn't know. Okay, no problem. So you want to, to make it as a passive, right? So it's blamed. Um, I think um, we cannot use the word, the, the blame in a verb to the thing that is not a person. So that's why we cannot use this is, is blamed. You want to use it in a, in a passive form. So that is why the answer should be eyes on the road was to blame. So it's something like this is the cause, okay? To blame here is something like the uh, the origin of the problem. It's not something the way we blame someone for having a sin or a fault or a mistake. Here is the word was to blame is the meaning of this one is um, the origin or the cause of the problem. Okay. It's not something that you are the sinner. You did this one. So that one is a different um, type that is for a person. And this one, the word blame is used in a way that this is the cause of the accident okay so ice on the road was to blame for the accident you understand me yes uh, thank you okay you're welcome so before i go to activity number four um number four other do you have some questions all right let's go to number four 
for Mark, uh, no, Paula rather. Yes, the journey uh, was far away of what we expected. Okay, far away than what we expected. Okay, so far away is not the same with take nearly so long, okay? Because take nearly so long is the, the time that you took with the travel, okay? But when you say far away is the distance of, of your destination and where you are right now. So this one should be the journey took far longer than we expected. I repeat, the journey took far longer than we expected. Or you can also say the journey was far longer than we expected, okay? So these are the two answers, possible answers. Okay, so let's go to number five, Ana Huerta. Um, uh, there was no food at the moment that we got to the party at the time. Okay. So there was no food at the moment. Okay. So in the original sentence, they said that the food had been eaten. So the meaning of that is there was no food left. Okay. It yeah. is not the same with the word there was no food with the sentence the food had been eaten. Okay. So there was food. It's just that there was no food left anymore. Okay. So that is, should be there was no food by the time we got to the party. Okay, you understand me? So there was no food left by the time we got to the party. Okay, yeah. number six. Let's go to Patricia. Yeah, new technology has certainly made an impact on how we view the world. Perfectly. New technology has certainly made an impact on how we view the world. And there is one possible answer. New technology has certainly had an impact on how we view the world. So I repeat the two possible answers. New technology has certainly made an impact on how, or new technology has certainly had an impact on how we view the world. Okay. Um, it, is, it is possible in the way instead of on how? Um, new technology has certainly made an impact in the way we view the world. In the way. Our view of the world has certainly been affected by the new technology. In the, in the manner of the how. Okay, that is also accepted because how is just the same in the way, okay? So new technology has certainly made an impact in the way we view the world because in the way is just the shortcut of the world. I mean, the the how the world how is just the shortcut of the world in the way. Okay, so thank you for raising that answer. Okay, thank you. Affected the way in which the new technology has certainly affected um so affected the way in which in which we view the world. Okay. Um, but you are talking already with the way. You are already um focusing on the way, but not with the impact. Okay, because when you say new te technology has certainly affected the way in which we view the world, so you are talking about as the way, like how it is being affected, but not giving an impact. Okay, you understand me? I don't know if you um, you got it. Okay, I thank you because I don't know if I have explained myself very well. All right, so that's it, guys. So for the next meeting, you're not going to have any um homework. I just want you to read this um part, the writing, so that you have some idea on what to do. And I don't know if how Jerry did it with you because in my class, um. I usually um, tackle this one, of course, and then they're going to um, send me their writings through email, and then I'm going to check it and just send it back to them again. Do you usually do that? I'm sorry, uh, I think I haven't understood you. Uh, what do you mean? 
with the writing um do you usually like send your writing through email to jerry and then jerry will send your um, corrected essay or writing through email as well um we normally made it by hand but i think there's no problem in doing it by mail i think okay so i'm going to give you the instruction next uh, monday okay if that's the case all right okay. so guys do you have some questions so i think none no it's okay all right so thank you for being online everyone so i don't know if you can see me right all right so if you have some questions you can directly send his a message if you want i don't really mind so um, thank you for being online and being with me and being patient. And I hope that you have learned something. Take care, everyone, and have a great night ahead. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks, bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. bye.